Hello, hello everyone. It's Becky and it is Thursday, January 26th. And I got a mess going on on my desk. I hope everyone's day is going well. It is snowing here again. Um, so I hope if you have to get out, everyone stay safe. Here's our one from yesterday. I did put my date on the back. Have a whole bunch of other things I was working on, trying to. Um, I just have things everywhere. Supplies everywhere, things everywhere. Let's clear this up a little bit so we can do some crafting, shall we? Seems to me I had something I wanted to make today. We might try the 6x6 six six journal, but I did order some more paper. What did I do with my phone? All right. Where's my box of numbers? I found the numbers, but where's the other box? missing my little box that I put these in. It's like a powdery snow coming down outside. There's one, two, I like that one, three, four. I finally did get hubby home, but I told you that yesterday afternoon. I was so mad. His procedure was Tuesday. Supposed to have been at 1.30. It was about 3.30 when they finally took him back. Then about 4.45 they come out and said everything went well. Um, he's in recovery. They sent me up to the recovery waiting room. And that desk told me, well, it'll be about two hours, and then he'll be in a room. And if it's any longer than that, they'll probably come and get you and have you wait in the waiting in his recovery room with him. Well, 6.30's coming, and he's calling other people back, and other people back, and, uh, Still nothing about my husband. And he walks past me. I said, what about my husband? He says, I'm going to go check. Walk with me up to the desk. So I go up there. He says, we're getting ready to leave. He says, but your husband's been assigned to this room number. And they should be getting ready to take him up there. He says, but shift change is at 7. So it may be about 7.30 before he gets up there. And by this point, I am just like this because I haven't had anything to eat all day except for my bugles that I took as a snack because the first procedure, you know, well, he was scheduled early in the morning and we didn't have to do all this waiting. Oh, man, I didn't put my pen in here last night. Um, so I thought, you know, a couple hours and, you know, he'll be in his room. I can go home, you know, because got, we've got fur babies I've got to take care of. Um, uh, let me tip this. Oh no, I think I just broke it. Oh no, this is not good. Oh wow, have you ever seen that happen? Oh, there's my other box, I think. No, that ain't it. That is not it. 
So the desk people leave. The desk people leave. And like quarter after seven, I thought I'm going up to his room. So I get up there and there's a nurse in there getting things ready and whatever. Oh man. Do I have another one of these bottles? I might have another one. I'll have to look somewhere. Ouch. I'll go run water in it here in a minute. And, you know, he's still not there. They're getting his room ready. I said, where can I leave his things? Because I had a CPAP machine. I said, I've got to go. So, I didn't get to see him at all. At 7.30, I told the lady, I said, his phone is in his CPAP. You know, I put it deliberately there because I knew they would have to get it out once he got to the room. No. They didn't even open the CPAP. Um... They had him on oxygen all that night. So then, I don't sleep at all that night. I, I think I might have got five hours. We call him like at 8, 8.30. Um... And he says that they're going to release me, they say, early. So, you know, I do my one spread yesterday morning. And because it started snowing heavy, I thought I need to go now. You know, so I can at least be there and only be a bundle of nerves going one direction home. No, I was there like 9.30, 10 o'clock. And... They did not release him until like 4.45 p.m. So it was, it's been a long couple of days. And by that point, the, the heavy snow had stopped. It got up to, I think it was 35 degrees. So the roads were clear by the time we come home. But here it's snowing again. But he's doing better. He's doing good. Now what did I do with that? I'm going to have to clean my desk off. I'm really going to have to clean my room up is what I'm saying. Had physical therapy today. We're making progress on the shoulder and the wrist and the hand. Just putting them over there, I guess. All right, let's see what these numbers are. So that's how my couple of days has been going. I hope everyone else's days have been going. Here we go with the sunflowers. I'm tired of the sunflowers. Can we just put flower? We're just going to say flower. 61 is splatter. We're just going to say stencil. 8-corn. Where did we see those acorns the other day? banner and a magazine picture interesting Well, let me see what I can round up. 
I'm not sure I'm going to use these. I mean, I'm, I only do this as a something to get my brain going. So let me see what I have. And then we're going to see what we're going to make. And plus I got to go fix this situation. So I'll be right back. Alright, I've rounded up a few things. I can't find a lot of things because I've got everything out and scattered. So, but I did, I have an idea. I have a plan. <laughs> I have a picture in my mind. So that's what we're going to go with. And I think I want to use this picture. This one. This magazine picture. And I got a cat who keeps taking my chair. Every time I get up, she plops down. But she's allowing me to sit in it at the moment. to cut some of this off. I'm almost done with this journal. Got three more pages in here and then I'm done with this. Okay. <clears throat> I fixed my glue bottle. It works. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the person. Alright, I have one cat, two cats, three cats in here with me. And let's make this a daily game. We have six cats total. There is Mulder, the big Maine Coon. There is Allie, my daughter's cat, who prefers to stay with Grandma. We have Pearl, my sister's cat, who prefers to stay here with Auntie. We have the boys. We have Emma and Charlie. Those are the boys. Um, that somebody abandoned out on the road and then we have Dana Scully I did have Fox and Mulder Fox died so now all we have left is Mulder and Dana out of the X-Files bunch <laughs> so out of Pearl, Allie, Mulder, Dana, Emma, Charlie there are three cats in here your job is, your part of the game is to tell me which of the three are in here. <laughs> I gotta find me some green ink. I got all the drawers out. I, I have this habit of opening the drawers and laying stuff on top as a, like a little table. So, that's, <laughs> I keep banging my knee. I think I want to use this stencil. I 
here I'm going to use the stencil. Should I use the larger stencil? I'm going to use the larger stencil in the background and we'll use the smaller stencil actually on stencil to use because it's got those little parts of the leaf sticking out and they bend they're bending they're bendy don't like it there then we will put our house Put my house like that, I think. I know the lid's off my glue. I'm going to try and be quick. Maybe the ivy on the house wasn't such a good idea. Sorry if my head keeps popping on the screen. I'm leaning forward. That's when my head gets in the screen. Youngest grandson's birthday is today. Not sure if he's 14, 15, <laughs> something. He's one of those ages. Time flies when you when you you know. I I understand now why grandparents never knew what your age were because as a grandparent now, um, time flies. What seems like it was just yesterday. Like, for example, my husband's father, we were happened to run to Kentucky because he was in the hospital. To me, that felt feels like that was just a couple of years. Really, it just feels like it was yesterday. When in actual fact, it was nine years ago. So, you know, in my mind, the youngest grandson Feels like it was just last year that he became a teenager, but in actual fact could be 
two to three years ago. So, I don't know. Now, what are we doing here? What did we need? Oh. Um, for a banner, I have this banner washi tape. Now, let me see. Do I want to put it right here? Or up here? I think I want to put it down here but we need to put some glue on it because some washi tapes are better than other washi tapes and rather than be sorry about it later we're going to be look part of that stencil broke either broke or it wasn't all the parts weren't out of it yet all right <clears throat> And while we have the glue out, I'm going to put our date on there. And I didn't, um, I wasn't going to spend too much time hunting around for an acorn. So we are going to use the much dreaded mushroom. Dreaded only because I don't like mushrooms. I really think it's a, a texture thing. Alright, glue, what's your prob? What is your problem? Alright. Acorn stencil. We've used a stencil. We've got a banner, a magazine picture, so now we need some flowers and the mushroom. Flowers are in this box. In the box. And of course all the big giant flowers are on top and I don't want those. I want a little flower. Little flowers. Like this flower. This flower. Yeah. There's the flower. Rose. I probably ought to go through. Wonder if I got any more of that one. Emma's in the room now, but she doesn't count as part of the original um, game we're playing. She, it's not a she, it's a he. And Charlie's in here. So, five out of six cats. Oops. Oops. Now, that just narrowed your choices down to the other four. What are you doing, Emma? Get down. Time for you two to go. 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 Emma. I think they I think they've broken my little spray bottle. Okay. 
kitties. Kitties, kitties, kitties. It's like everything's out and they've got to be nosy. Emma is stuck. Because there's no place to walk. There's no place to walk. So Emma is stuck back here behind my little paper cabinet that I have. But after I do my little crafting projects, I think I'm going to start, um, I have to put things away <laughs> that I have out. And then I'm going to start moving some things around. Alright, I'm sorry it's taking me a minute <laughs> to get this flower off of it. It's backing. It comes off and then it flops back down. I might have to get my tweezers. And see, it's hard to use the tweezers for me. Because I have this issue, oh, see it did it right there. I have double and triple vision. And we keep talking about this every time I go to the eye doctor. About seeing an, an ophthal, a neuro-ophthalmologist. Because something's not <laughs> computing, um, you know, there's... There are things that are going on that is baffling my ophthalmologist. But as long as it doesn't interfere, you know, with my lifestyle and my driving, we are at this point. not really going to be doing anything about it. And I'm sure it's probably because I've hit concrete floors one too many times. where it's going to live. Don't want that one. Maybe I'll put that one in the middle. So what kind of crafting do you all do? I mean, um, are you just basically watching or do you go and do your own pages? I hope this inspires you to go do your own pages. I think I'm going to put these, even though they look like they're supposed to be facing up, I'm going to put them like this. What do you think? You're all saying yes, right?
good. I'm glad we're all thinking the same thing. Come on, come off of there. Usually I can just flip it a little bit like this. And it'll come off. Yes. Oh, no wonder it didn't. I had it, I have it backwards. going to put some mushrooms in there, weren't we? Do we want to do that? Let me see how small of a mushroom I can find. I see some right here in the very back. Here's some. Where's that one I just saw? That one. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come and see here. Oh. All right. Maybe. Maybe one. I'm going to put one. All I have to use is one. Right? That's what I say. See, I need to clean these scissors off, too. All right, let me trim this up. on my fingers. It won't come off. Okay, here's our page. Here's our big page for the day. What do you think? I like it. Okay, let me clean this mess up and we're going to press on. Alright, we're going to use the supplies with the same numbers. I was able to find all those. get our paper. I think I want a background. What you doing, Allie? Maybe I'll piece some of these together. If any of these will go with that. We'll use that one. Hmm. 
Maybe that one. Maybe that one. All right, let's get our base going. There's a big old square piece right there. Where's my scissors? I'm going to do it like that. Put these up. So is this one of the papers that it makes a difference on the direction it goes? No. There's my scissors. I could put a flag on there. We'll see. Alright, number 93. a small tag. Or do we want to use a bigger tag? No, I think a smaller one. number 41 which was our flower earlier so now it's uh, these animal stickers let me just look through here I think I like that shape better. The acorn was probably in here. Alright, then all the rest of them were in here. So 61, which was our stencil from earlier, is now these little artsy little stickers that fell all over the floor the other day because I didn't shut. 
So let's see what... Oh, that one looks interesting. Maybe we'll do that. I think that one. Going this way. Then 63 was our little banner on the other one. It is these little black and white stickers. So let's see if we can find... I think our theme is like papers or something. I kind of like that one, actually. We have a teddy bear. Just repeat. I think I'm going to keep the little kitty cat. Right, 64. I think I need number 68. And 68 are these little um, winter animal. So we got all of our one, two, three, four, five. We got all of our pieces. Now let's see how we're going to put them on. I feel like something bit me. My hand's itching. It's itching. What do you think? Do we like it just like it is, how I put it down there? Alright. Alright, let's put this one. Put this up here. See, so I need to move this one over, don't I? Please don't tear the paper. Please, please, please. Okay. Turn that more that way, like that. You know, I was thinking I would make my grandson's birthday card, since I have all those die cuts and things. And then I thought he would not appreciate it, so um, why even do that? <laughs> So 
so I'm not going to. And my oldest grandson, the 22 year old, lives in an apartment on, you know, with some roommates and things, but he let his license plates expire. <laughs> and the apartment complex towed his car. I just thought that was funny. Let me see, today's the 26th, all day. What do you think? I think it turned out pretty. I like it. Next, I thought we would create some storyboards and what storyboards are, or a master board, actually. We're going to create a master board. So what they are is you take any, like, cardboard, it could be a file folder, or any heavy material paper, and you just take your scraps. And you just glue them on. And then later on, you can cut apart your master boards. Like here are a couple. Like I just collage scraps onto these come in um, the Fancy Feast uh, canned food for the cats. And I save them because they are these are good journal cover material or good master board material so I just covered them with little snippets of paper and things and made some these I made tags and I put calendar um, pieces on the back so people can write on them so all we have to do for a little journaling card so all I have to do is embellish like put flowers or whatever embellish the front of these and uh, we can use them in journals so that's what we're going to do we're just going to take scraps of paper and we are going to make some master boards because I have all of these die cut scraps back here. All these, all of these little pieces of paper. So we're going to just uh, go through this and we are going to make some master boards. And then when I start making journals, or when I need something like a belly band, um, a pocket, you can make pockets out of these. Um, I do have, I was trying to find another one. If When I find it, I'll show you that what I've used like on a manila folder. I've done them on there. And I'm going to use my Yuhu glue. <clears throat> so let me find some paper. Okay. This one might be a good one to use the Elmer's glue sticks on. I might go might go grab one.
So this is a good way to use up some of your scraps that you might have. And then tomorrow, all right, what did I do with that glue? Tomorrow, um, we can make clusters. We'll make some clusters with some scraps. And then, you know, you can glue these down, like, directly to the edge. Mine's a little off the edge, but, you know, I can always take washi tape or something when I'm decorating the tag and do the edge. Some people like to go up and over the edge and bend it over so you don't have the cardboard showing. But we're just going to do one side. And we'll do a couple of cards, just to use up some of these scraps. And I'm not all about straight edges at all. You know, you could do colored themes. Um, if you guys want me to send you some of these little cardboards, I could do that too. I don't have a lot, but I it's a continuous supply over here. Because I've got to order about 60, I have to have at least 60 cans a month for all these, oh, sorry, sorry baby. For all the fur babies. Yeah. I feel 
feel naked. Can you fit, put me back up? Back yeah, here? hang on a second. Uh, just ripped it. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. It's sticking to the paper. Okay. Which one's not hooked up? It feels like none of them's hooked up back here. This one we could probably move. That one's on it, so you're good. Okay. Just feel like it comes off. Thank you. I'm trying to keep this this one in like the same colors kind of so I'm digging through my box over here Is it still snowing? Very fine. Very fine snow. I feel like Elmer's glue. You can't maneuver things that well. Where the Yoohoo, it, it at least lets you pick it up and move it. <laughs> this one's glued on. No, let me have it. Let me have it. see so later I could put you know like lined paper on here and they can write it but it depends on what I'm going to use this for and I can trim off this edge later so we're going to set that aside and let it dry let's pull out some different colors and we'll do another one And I think, see this was a die cut that didn't want to come out. I 
think I want cut pieces versus torn pieces. Sorry, I was concentrating and not talking. So, you know, like I was telling you earlier, I did go to physical therapy today. Um, this has been a long road. You know, I've had rotator cuff surgeries in both arms. And I think we finally got the elbow situation where it's simmering down now and my shoulder wants to hurt again. I really think the doctor who did the first rotator cuff surgery, that first night home or the second night home after my surgery, um, something went pop in my arm because they moved that tendon or something. And I think it partially tore. But how do you tell, you know, a new doctor that the first doctor screwed things up? Or, you know, he didn't. How did I have this? <laughs> So I'm just hoping physical therapy can help my shoulder too. Because I, I don't want to go through another shoulder surgery. You know, I can function. It's just, after a while, constant pain wears on you. But if we can get it down to, like, under a 5 on their pain scale, then I'll be alright. But a constant 6, you know that is no bueno no bueno and 
And see, I'm just using die cut scraps. Your scraps don't have to be straight pieces. I mean, it's personal preference. Choice is yours. However you want to do it. this one already? Not yet. Not yet. I kind of want this one to have a rounded kind of an edge. I'll put it right there. I think I want like a that that I don't want that. Do I want some of this? I got some of that over here. Let's see what's over here. right here And then I just need a little piece here and a little piece there. Sorry, I got off screen. I'm sorry. Let's see here. And then I need a little piece right there of something. See if I can remember how I just had that. This kind of looks like a little cow. Looks like a cow. There. 
Okay, we've done two of them. And um, maybe tomorrow also we will cut this down into tag size and just embellish one and make a tag, make some tags. So, all right. If you um, have guessed which cats were in the room earlier, it was Allie, Mulder, and Dana. So join me tomorrow for another um, crafting session. And as always, be safe. Don't let the world change your smile. Let your smile change the world. Bye.